Welcome back, Blade Lovers. Well, meet me at the Casbah. That was a line from an old 1930s French film, so I am told. Ain't that old, but I think I do remember seeing the film. <laughs> this is the Benchmade Casbah 4400 Auto. We're doing an auto today. And this one's been in the collection for a while, but I just hadn't gotten around to doing a review. It is an excellent EDC auto, getting a lot of great reviews by users. And I'm going to run down some specs for you from the Blade HQ site. Thank you, Blade HQ. Overall length, 7.8 inches. Blade length, 3.4 inches. Blade thickness, 0.11, which would lead us to believe it's pretty thin, but we may check that with the old micrometer. CPM S30V steel. Rockwell hardness, 60 to 62, fairly high. It is a drop point, satin finished blade. Handle length. 4.4 4 inches handle thickness 0.59 handle material is grivery which is an FRN based polymer the weight a very light 3.43 ounces and it can be used right hand or left hand tip up carry it's a push button auto with a safety its best use is considered to be tactical, but we'll say tactical EDC, right? Let's take a closer look. And we're going to compare it with some other autos shortly. But very nice um, texture here, similar to what you see on some custom handgun grips. Very grippy and tactile but not overly so. Like a lot of molded in texture, this works without tearing up your hand. Got jimping built into the scales here. There's your anchor point for your left side clip carry. It's a long clip, kind of unusual for a little bit shorter knife. It's almost a deep carry. You have a little bit of handle sticking out. You've got a lanyard hole. It's a gray colored metal spring clip. And let's check the action out. It's a snappy little auto. Safety lock disengages the button. And can also be used to safety lock it open, making it a virtual fixed blade. S30V steel comes through quite sharp as most of Benchmade's S30V knives seem to have a nice edge put on them from the factory. You can see the little swedge at the top there that creates the spear point. Got the Benchmade butterfly logo on the left side and a rather small branding of the steel and benchmade.com CAT for catalog so should you want to visit Benchmade and see the catalog that's your URL it's a um, two half clamshell type arrangement here with um, I think we've got Let's see some steel innards there but mostly as you can see even a weight relieved grivery might be from the molding process pretty much all plastic until you get up to your um, business end there with a the pivot and then you've got some steel reinforcements locks up nice and tight no wiggle whatsoever as you do have on some autos 
Um, not to say over time that you might not get a little bit of wear. Depends on how many times you snap that out. I'm a little suspicious of the... Um, see if I can find... Yeah, there we go. I'm a little suspicious of the thickness they're giving. Let's look at it in millimeters. So it's a three millimeter pretty much blade stock. And what is that in inches? Yeah, they're right after all. It's a 0.11. Uh, I like blade stock in millimeters, so it's a three millimeter. Ground without a fine point, a useful point, but got plenty of thickness there. 3.4 inch blade, very useful size. Ergos are nice. They have a contoured handle. Put together with uh, one, two, three, four screws plus the pivot. S safety is very positive. I don't think you'd actuate it accidentally. So should it be in your pocket? I just don't think that's going to accidentally go on. It's got a lot of grip to that ramp. In the way that that is uh, file worked in there, or patterned in there. And I believe that safety is a metal safety. Made of steel. Let's check that out. in a moment so let's see that steel yep so that safety is steel and not plastic that's a good thing we got mainly the grivery handle that's plastic from the whole knife here see if I missed anything Pretty simple auto, but I was getting to the ergos, which, you know, almost a 0.6 thickness. It's not exceptionally thick. In and out of the pocket relatively easily. You are encountering a little bit of that texture there when you are going in and out of the pocket, but you've got enough flex to the clip where it's not going to grab and not come out of your pocket. We're going to compare it to... Another Benchmade Auto that I reviewed not that long ago, the Mediator. The Mediator is a slightly shorter knife. Pretty much, as you can see, the same button and uh, safety on that. And how about the Kershaw Launch 13? A very popular knife. No safety on this guy. But you know, they're all pretty much in the same category of size, as you can see, with, uh, let's see, yeah, I would say the Casba. by the way, Casba is a fortress city in North Africa, I am told, was a fortress city, you can look that up. Kind of an interesting name for a knife, the Casbah, or we could just call it the 4400. Yeah, pretty much dead on the same length as the Launch 13, with the Mediator being a slightly smaller overall auto. And I think the Kershaw is going to be a little lighter. That comes in, I think, in the two ounce, two and a half ounce or so range. You can check the review. This is in the three and a half ounce range. So, you know, for uh, almost a three and a half inch blade, that's pretty much your ounce per inch, if that matters to you. So the Benchmade 4400, this is the Dash 1 
with the blue handle. You can get this with a black handle as well, I believe. Comes in a little under 200 on um, on the uh, Blade HQ site. Um, White Mountain is now offering autos, by the way. Mike plug for White Mountain, Justin up there. Um, so you can check them out. If they ship to your state, you might be able to uh, get something nice in the realm of an auto from White Mountain. And don't forget, whatever you're buying on White Mountain, use the discount code Old Sword to get your 10% off. So once again, I'll leave you, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.